Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and finally, the episode is here. Our best ever weekend league finish. 30 victories. I still cannot believe that. We are in the Elite 3 section, which means in this video, you will get to see a 100k pack, 75k added to our budget, and three informs in one pack. The inform pack right there. Now, I can tell you, there is a crazy team of the week out there. Sadly, I cannot show you the whole team of the week, but I can show you the main man that are, are coming out right now. Here you can see them. Paolo Dybala, 92 rated. If we see that Argentine flag, oh boy, things will go apeshit. Uh, Batshuayi is in there. And the one that I'm actually hoping for, Marcus Rashford. Left mid, 84 rated. That could be such an amazing card to use. All of these three, I believe, go for over 100k right now. And Dybala goes for over 1.2 million. But I'm talking about Batshuayi and Rashford. I'm really hoping that we can pack something good. Our pack luck has been on point lately. Hopefully it continues. If you guys are as excited as I am, if you are as proud as I am of myself for getting into the elite section once again, please make sure guys to hit that like button, show support on this series. As you guys know, this is my favorite series on my channel. This is what I love doing right now. I'm sitting here every day just looking forward to play some more FIFA. I love Ultimate Team and the main reason for that is that this is my first year where I actually spent a lot of time on this. The first year where I had a proper Road to Glory account. Road to Glory is where it's at boys. If you spend money on this game and you get yourself some crazy players and you lose, I understand. You think, alright, I spend all this game, all this money on this game and still losing, still bullshit happening when I'm playing. I am done with this game. But if you play a Road to Glory account, it's so much more personal. You have earned all of these players. You have worked hard for them. And you really care about how well you do. And you try to improve as much as you can. And that is exactly what I've done in this series. Now, as you guys know, we will be opening those packs the um, for Champions Rewards on stream. You will see that section in a little bit. But there was a Carlos Vela to be won in the Daily Knockout Tournament. And I can show you guys right here. The finale of the Daily Knockout Tournament. Did I get him or did I not get him? Also, Carlos Vela has an inform in this week. So he has already been upgraded from 82 to an 84 rating. As you could see, we did get ourselves that Carlos Vela, and he looks very good. Don't get me wrong, the card looks very good, but I decided yet, yet again, boys, just as we have done it with Lukaku, we unlocked Lukaku, we put him into the SPC, got ourselves Icardi, now we have unlocked Carlos Vela, and don't get me wrong right here. I would have used this card, he does look very good, but my main issue with this card is... He's playing in the MLS. He is playing um, in a uh, for a nation that also isn't really easy to be linked up with uh, a lot of players. Obviously, you can do that with Icon Hernandez. But also, he only has 70 stamina. This Carlos Vela card would not be good enough for foot champions. I love his stats. Um, the pace, the shooting, the passing, the dribbling. Everything is great. But the physicals are so bad. I just couldn't play with this card. So I decided, you know what? Let's put him into the SPC. Hope for the best. Get some coins into the club. And hopefully it will be worth it. Last time we got ourselves Icardi. This time, let's see if we can take another of those Brazilian cards into the club. I would love to get another one of those Brazilians. I love them because they are all worth a lot of money. Now, let's see. 
Path to Glory, Spring Tradable. After this pack, you guys will get to see the Elite Rewards. I am as excited as you are. Trust me, I'm probably a lot more nervous than you are. I'm always very hyped when it comes to like big rewards like those because I never really get into Elite. And this year I've done it. I would have never dreamed of getting into Elite. Last year I was right there. I was one victory off of getting to Elite. I got 28 victories and that was my best finish last year. This year we have had two months with back-to-back -back elite finishes and that is just crazy let's get into this pack can we get the argentine flag the brazilian flag or obviously milinkovic savic who i believe is from serbia hopefully i'm not getting that wrong here we go all right boys it's a tradable keep that in mind it's a tradable give me a good nation please please a pack like has been on point keep it up keep it up keep it up keep it up no, 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 not striker. No, 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 no. Why? Olivier, why? Why did it have to be you, man? Why? You're the worst one. I swear to God. I'm 100% I'm sure that this is the card that most people have pulled. This is definitely the card that most people have pulled. A striker with 53 pace. Why did they even bother giving him a Path to Glory card? No one cares about Jiru, man. He's not going to be usable for the future of this game. Why would you give him a Path to Glory card? That just doesn't make any sense in my head. 53 pace. EA producers should know better. All right, so Jiru goes for 34k right now, which is actually a disgrace. Um, but I will have to put him up for that amount, hoping to sell him on and uh, get the coins back into the club. That'd be great. 35k actually is what he goes for. We'll put him onto the market for that amount or 34.75 just so he will be sold straight away. Now, I was thinking of doing maybe another one, but then I decided, you know what? I got really lucky with the pack so far. There's not really too much to go for. I don't think I'll be getting another high rated card. I think we did well with this promo. We got ourselves Alexandro, got the coins into the club, which was around 300,000. We have Icardi, who we are just waiting to maybe get another inform they're uh, playing against Sampdoria this weekend hopefully he can have a great performance right there because I believe Inter is like in the fifth position Sampdoria is in the seventh position or something like that so I'm really hoping that he can step up in a big game and maybe get himself another in form so Giroud has been put onto the market we'll be going back up to 100k um, that SPC basically has cost me around 30k after all so we are 30k down but it was worth the risk, I think. Before we go, though, we are clearing our club completely. All the rare players that I could put into this SPC, I have put into this SPC. Because why? Because I just felt like opening some more packs. And this episode will be about opening packs once again. Now, two rare gold players plus, obviously, at least one card above 81. If we can get boards from one of that, one of these two, it would be quite nice. -o. No boards in the first one. Already a bad pack, boys. At least give me an 82, please. That is an 82. All right, we'll take that. Now, the next one. Come on. Come on. Come on. I feel it. I feel it right now. There it goes. Path to glory. Get ready. Get ready, boys. Path to glory. There we go. Oh, that is a regular board. Who is it, though? Italian. Striker. Immobile? No, Belotti. Immobile doesn't play for Torino anymore. Belotti. Yay! Now the question is, who are we actually getting next into our team? And I was thinking, if if I do pack that Aurier in form, I might give him a try down the right hand side instead of Valencia. Obviously, the Aurier in form is 84 rated. We can take a look at his stats right here uh, if you guys want to see that real quick. Aurier. I had him at the start, if you guys remember, uh, in the Road to Ronaldo series. I had him at the start as a um, wants to watch card and now after all this time he has gotten his inform so it was kind of worth not holding on to that card now Aurier, this card is looking quite solid to me but if you directly compare him to valencia the pace is around the same um the shooting is better the passing is better the dribbling is the same the defense is better and also physically Aurier is a bit better so if we do back pack that card i might give him a chance you know i'm really thinking about that because uh valencia has a one saw weak foot 
And Aurier, I believe, has a three-star weak foot, and that could make a big change. Now, Valencia is how tall? 5'11". Aurier is 5'9". Valencia, um, Aurier has 96 jumping, though. All right, that's quite good. 96 jumping. Uh, 70 on Valencia, so it kind of balances itself out right there. I think Aurier might be the better guy for uh, the balls coming in from one side of the pitch to the other side. He could be quite good, but um, we'll see. It all depends on who we are getting. We could be getting the worst informs of all time. We could be getting Dybala. Everything could change. Who knows? We're just waiting for that pack to come around. It is happening right now, live on stream. If you guys are uh, not following the stream make sure to do so to see this live but here is a portion where we open our elite packs well here are the elite three rewards boys but before we get into that i need to inform you yes 2.1 million on our coin total the reason for that is coming up right now you might be thinking why why did you sell these players you got an amazing record with them this weekend the reason for that is there is a baby icon SBC in the data of FIFA 18 people are freaking out everyone is selling their uh, baby icons Baby icons talking about them. Del Piero and Hulit are one of those. So I had to sell these guys. I lost at least 300,000 coins on these icons, which sucks. But after all, if you look at the overall market, all the players' prices are dropping down, down right now massively. So after all, I think with the coins that we have, we can still buy the same players that we could have bought if their prices didn't go down. If you guys underst like, understand what I mean. We sold all these players, 560k for Del Piero, 140k for Firmino, 685k for Hulit, 95k for Alonso, 210k on Fernandinho. That's probably the only card where I didn't make a loss. Um, 450k on right card where we lost out on like 50k, I believe. I think last time we had Elite 3 rewards, we got Kramaric, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm really hoping that we can pack something decent, man. That would be crazy. Here we go. <clears throat> Opening it up right now. Ah, uh, yes. We got Elite 3 once again. Foot Champions Weekend League Elite 3 rewards, which is something that makes me very proud. 70k coins, which is cool. 100k pack. Let's not forget about that one. That is obviously a very cool pack to get. Sometimes it's amazing. Sometimes it is terrible. The premium team of the week pack, obviously, with the three informs. That is what we are looking forward to the most. So, 2.2 million in the account and these packs to go. 100k and three informs. Let's start off with the 100k pack. Oh boy. Can we actually pack something decent? The one thing that I'm looking forward to is I have no players in my club. I just want a couple of decent players to join into our team. Was that an inform? That is not an inform. Portuguese? Sentiment. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> an 83 rated player from a 100k pack. I genuinely did not expect anything else. It's just the same thing happening over and over again, man. 100k packs that you get from Foot Champions Rewards are officially the worst packs. Like, I would rather have 50k packs. I genuinely believe that 50k packs are the best ones you can get. Please, Argentine, Belgium, or English flag. Please, EA. Help a brother out, man. I already lost so many coins. Give me something good. Premium Team of the Week pack. Give me a good flag. Please give me a good flag. What is it? French. Oh my god. I genuinely want to uninstall the game right now. I really do. Hey, I got Nacho. I predicted that one. I basically got three discard informs. Cool. 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 30 victories out of 40 for this. <laughs> oh my god, man. It is just... It is just so bad. Alright, so after we have sold all of these players, boys, I have created my next team. And I don't think I have shown it to you yet. This is our new... 
Foot Champions Weekend League team. Yes, no icons, three path to glories, and a completely different league that we haven't used so far. And I'm really proud of that fact that we are now using a league that we never used before. So take a look at this new squad. Let me put these players into the proper formation and show you how I play in game. This is going to be how we play, boys. We will be playing with De Bruyne at Cam yet again. We'll play Aguero and Higuain up top. De Bruyne at Cam. Nainggolan at centre midfield, Milinkovic Savic, the 87 rated beast, one of the most OP cards in a game, in the right centre midfield position, Matuidi at centre defence mid, the best left back in the game, Alexandro, path to glory card in the left back position, Benatia coming in to partner up with him, Bay Valencia and then De Gea. This is going to be our new team, I already played a couple of games with this team, it is decent. First of all, I used Dybala uh, before getting Higuain. Didn't like him. Too small. Aguero is small already. We played five games so far. I got four victories out of our first five games. But forget about all that. Big things are happening on Ultimate Team right now. Foot Birthday has arrived. Some incredible cards are actually in packs right now. As you can see, right wing Ronaldo center forward Royce just incredible man so many nice cards and one specific player could be fitting into my team my current team perfectly let me show you that right now this is the man Alessandro Florenzi he has an unbelievable card for the center midfield look at this look at this 90 acceleration 87 sprint speed shooting off the charts passing amazing dribbling incredible defending all right still if you put like a shadow card on this one he will be incredible with the defending as well physically 99 stamina that's all i need my man that is all i need five foot eight tall he could be an unbelievable center midfielder to use for our squad so i'm looking at his price he's currently going for around 300,000 coins which is just too much it's just too much for me i will not spend that right now I will be using him as soon as he drops down in his value. I think I might be getting this card. But um, we have done uh, one SPC, I believe, on stream live. I can show you that right now. Okay, we are going for a team of the week player. 1-2-26. Uh, we could be getting something terrible. We could be getting something crazy. I am giving away a team of 82 rated players for that. I think that is, this is definitely worth it. If we can get a high rated inform, that would be crazy that we can use for future um, SBCs. So let's see how this one goes, boys. Let's see if we can pack ourselves a high rated inform. Let's go. Team of the week one to team of the week 26. Give it to me, EA. Give me a good team of the week. What is it? It is Argentina. It is striker. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it is Funes Mori. <laughs> and now we will be doing a second one. Yes, I am still going for it. And by the way, the only player that I will probably get myself for these SBCs, uh, for the foot birthday SBCs, we have Yaya Torre, Wayne Rooney, 90 rated, Robin van Persie, and Bastian Schweinsteiger. I personally will be going for the Wayne Rooney card, 90 rated boys. We will have to fulfill all the challenges this week in order to get ourselves this Wayne Rooney. That is the one that I'll be trying to get. I think it will cost us around 70k coins, 70k for a 90 rated beast of a card. That is nothing boys. We want that Wayne Rooney in our team. So let's do the SBC. Let's see if we can actually pack a decent inform. Can we have pack luck on our first account, on our main account, the road to Ronaldo's? Ah, oh, I was hoping, for whatever reason, I was thinking maybe Alexis Sanchez has an inform. Guys, I am having my worst start to the weekend league in a very, very long time. You can see us on 10 victories, five losses, Normally we finish 20 games with 15 victories and 5 losses. That is still possible, yes, but I had to 
I had to just basically stop and change my team again. I cannot play with the team that I showed you earlier on with the Higuain Path to Glory, which actually got upgraded to a 93. So I actually made some profit on that card, around 70k profit. So that was great. Um, with Aguero up top, I couldn't play with Aguero. I'm telling you, I am not able to play with Aguero. So those guys will be sold. They are currently on the transfer market right here. And um, Milinkovic Savic was the one where I was really sad that I had to sell him on because I had some really, really good games with this card. He has an insane shot on him. I absolutely love that card. At some point, I will try to bring him back into my squad. And this Higuain, so these two will be sold. We'll get over 500k back into our club. I bought this Higuain, I believe, for around 200k. So we are definitely making some profit on that card. But um, I had to bring in a new team and I had to bring in someone Someone that I trust, someone that a lot of people were saying that I should bring back into my squad. So after Higuain and um, uh, Savage sell, we will still have over 800k coins, probably even 900k. Um, this is the team, boys. This is the new team again. We are changing it up. We are bringing in players where we know that we can play with them. Last time around, we used Pogba. He was quite good for us, so I wanted to bring him back into my team. Rashford, this is the card that everyone is hyped about right now. And I personally believe that he could be an incredible striker to use because the fact that this striker has 94 pace, he has 95 agility, 91 shot power, 88 finishing with the marksman um, chemistry style, he is even better than that. I'm really looking forward to use this card in this weekend league from this point on. Mohamed Salah had to come back. He's at his lowest price ever. I sold him, if you guys remember, for something like 600k coins or 550k coins uh, back in the day. And now he has dropped down to 399k. It is the biggest market crash ever so far in this FIFA. And if you buy players right now, you might be looking at a lot of coins in the future. I don't know if the market will go back up again, but for me personally, this was just the price where I just couldn't resist. I had to change my team again. I had to bring my Mo Salah back into my squad and do well again because the Higuain and Aguero partnership up front, I just wasn't scoring goals. I had like 10 games with them, five goals. That's just not good enough. With Firmino and Del Piero, both of them would score in every single game and I was so good moving forward. And now I'm looking forward to bring that back with Salah and Rashford up top. We will be playing the 4-1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two formation, obviously. Matuidi at CDM, Fernandinho and Pogba at center midfield and De Bruyne behind Rashford and Salah. Let's get into a live game and see how this goes. Was it the right decision? Was it the bad decision? We'll see. Now I'm only hoping that my form life on the videos will be better than it has been in the past. Okay, this is a beatable team, boys. This is definitely a beatable team. Hopefully this is not an amazing player who has sold every single of his players and is just using untradeable cards because he knows the market is going down. That would be really bad for me. I'm really hoping that my form life will change and I'm really looking forward to see how this Rashford card plays, man. I'm so excited. The passing is quality right now. Here we go. That's what we need. Yes. Play it over. Pogba. Pogba with the finish. 1-0. 20 second minute. Great passing play. Now, what I have with this team that I didn't have with the team before, obviously, because of uh, the likes of players like Higuain, is pace moving forward. I have Rashford and Salah, who can play those one-twos really quickly, which is something that I've gotten really good at in this FIFA, and I missed that with the last team. I couldn't do that with Aguero and Higuain. Aguero obviously did have the pace, but he lacked the physicals. Every time someone would get close to him, he would lose the ball for me. And now with Salah and Rashford, we have two incredibly agile and fast players coming into our squad who can make a big difference in the end. This is exactly what I was missing with the last team. The fast passing play, the runs that my players are making, and Marcus Rashford will score on his debut, 32nd minute, what a strike. And by the way, I think with this last patch, if you change the numbers of your players in your team, they actually stay that way. So after this game, I might have to switch the numbers of my players because Rashford on number four seems a bit odd. Oh yes, Rashford. Yes, Rashford. Now we get the goal. Salah. Mo Salah. Finesse. Finesse. 
Mo Salah with his left foot is deadly. What I didn't like about my Mo Salah if, uh, when I had him in the past was that everyone knew and everyone still knows you have to shoot with his left foot. If I'm playing against players who are not as experienced with a team like this, obviously it will still work for me. But when I'm playing against big, big opponents, I have to kind of predict that they know I am going to be cutting to his left foot and use that to my advantage and cut to his right foot and play the pass, you know? Because otherwise, it's just really tough to score with Salah if you're not just running through free on target. Great dribbling, good pass. Mo Salah and Rashford working together nicely. Rashford with the lob and the goal. He has scored a hat-trick on his debut, boys. And our opponent is rage quitting. Seems like we have found our attack force. The last games that I played, they were just so frustrating, man. I just couldn't get through the defense of my opponent. And I think now we have finally found a squad that works for us. I know in this series, we have been switching in between teams a lot. We have lost probably around 500k coins already to just EA tax. But genuinely, I just, for me, it's all about the competition. It's not really about the coins. I just want to do well in the Foot Champions Weekend League. I just want to get better every time I play. And with the team that I had before, I just couldn't. I just couldn't play to the standard that I played with the likes of Del Piero, Hulit, and Firmino. And now we have finally found a team that can do that as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I freaking love you. Have a great day. Take care. Peace.